Pandora's box for now. Just for now. We want to have some fun, but we love giving the floor to our roasters. Lines are lit up right now. 888-957-9570. YouTube is humming. Twitch is humming. A lot of people want to discuss Draymond Green because whether we like it or not, whenever he talks, something interesting interesting comes out of his mouth. And yesterday he was talking about the Warriors and whether or not they win it without Kevin Durant in 2017-18, whether or not Steph Curry could get a bucket or what type of bucket he could get. I get what he said in terms of drop the ball to Kevin Durant, go score. He could do that with the best of them. He's an all-timer when it comes to that. Steph, maybe you need a screen. Maybe you need him to kind of clear it out and go one-on-one. or I, Maybe you need to run a set for Stephen Curry. I, I'm not going to disrespect him like that. Dude's no. an all-time great. And I don't think he was trying to disrespect him. I just think in general, there are certain sports things that we glom onto, and it's like, if you can't do this, then the rest of your game is completely diluted. And I think we over-obsess about things. Like, for example, right now, right? The big thing is is mobility as a quarterback. Mo, you got to be mobile. You also have to deliver the ball from the pocket, right? right. Wouldn't you agree? Like, no Patrick doubt. Mahomes is the best of both worlds. But then we, we obsess about, you've got to be a pure pocket quarterback. Okay, outside of Brady, all the best players in the league move their move right. their bodies and, and move around. So, like, I just think, for example, get your own shot. Luka can get his own shot as well as anyone I've ever seen in my life. Yep. They lost. Now, it doesn't mean that he's not amazing and great, but like there's more elements to the game, and there's a balancing act that you have to have as a great player right. to be able to succeed at the highest level. And I just think that we kind of glom onto, can they get their own shot at the end of the game in these hyper-serious situations with like a 30 seconds to go? Okay, well, what if I blow you out and, and you got to yank the starters with two minutes to go? Did you watch the finals, mm-hmm. Bonte? How many close right. games were there in the final two minutes? Right, right. Not I a mean, lot. Here's the deal. I, I Is it Steph fans or is it Warrior fans who feel outraged or feel disrespected? I just I tweeted yesterday. I was like, look, man, if it's about buckets, Steph dropped 54 February 27, 2013 at the Garden. That is the last time I worried about him getting a bucket on his own. Because if that's what Draymond was implying, then I, dis- I, I disagree with him. In terms of beating the Cavaliers without Kevin Durant, I don't think the Warriors beat the Cavaliers without Kevin Durant. I don't. Not with Harrison Barnes. We saw what Harrison Barnes did in 2016 in the last three games. But are we just outraged about nothing? Are people outraged about nothing? Let's go to Keith in New York. He wants to talk about this. Keith, what's happening? You're on the roast. What's up, Monty? What's up, Chef? What's up, man? What up, man? Good morning. Good morning. I just want to talk about the whole... Draymond Green and Stephen Curry. Stephen Curry, as you said, Bonson, is my... I just first became my favorite player in 2013 MSG game. And that's when I became a Warriors fan. Quote, unquote, before that, I was a Kobe Bryant fan. So I'm under the Kobe Bryant tree where leaders lead and it doesn't matter how they lead. I feel like Draymond Green is not in no wrong. And, it's, it's, and if you're really a Stephen Curry fan, a Golden State fan, we got to stop this whole strike between communities and fan bases. Yeah. They don't think very intelligent about what he said. First thing he said is basically, he said, I don't believe we would have one without KD, which is absolutely fact because he said that that team, we wouldn't have one without KD. So that team currently, currently constructed without Kevin Durant, we would have lost. There's nothing wrong with saying that. Because we didn't have no cash, we had no, no real players at that time that the team had built around the Steve Kerr motion offense and around Stephen Curry. And with the scoring options and the scoring, if Steph can't score, he could score. Dante, one question. Do you believe Stephen Curry is better now at scoring or 2016, 2017? Well, 2016-17 was pretty damn devastating, but I would say he's a more polished scorer right now, a more polished scorer and mentally at all three levels. And mentally, he's a lot sharper because he's seen a lot. He's seen it all. That was the first time he was going through that double team, triple team. Everybody was looking at the guy and obviously scheming for him, and they still do, but I think he's a more polished scorer now. He knows when to step inside the three-point line to pull up for the midi or hit the floater. And arguing about whether they could or would have or should have or might have won the championship in 2017, 2018 if they didn't have Kevin Durant, like we can argue all day about that. 
I don't even need to go to the Cavs, though. Like, oh, they would have beaten the Cavs. I'm not sure they would have beaten the Rockets in 2018 if they don't oh, have they Kevin. They beat the Rockets. Well, he mentioned that. Lakeford, I, I think we got that cut. Uh, good, good Lakeford for the, the second CP3, year. The CP3, Harden. Uh, yeah, they were going to beat them. They did beat them in 2019. They beat them in game six. I, I, I know, but that was when they were hurt. And, right. I mean, the Warriors came out and exploded. But look, they were the Warriors down in were game hurt. six. Warriors were hurt. They were down in game six and in game seven no, at times. Oh, we're talking, you're talking about 8-2018. That's what I said. 20, yeah, 2018. Yeah, yeah, 2019. It was a totally Kevin different Durant, yeah. Kevin Durant got hurt. I know, and they smoked them. But they that was a different them. year. I'm talking about the year they were on the brink, where that was the Rockets' best shot, right? I don't. Who knows? Maybe they lose there. Like, we can argue all day about that. It didn't happen. Here's what Draymond Green said about those Rockets teams. Okay. I don't think... The outside world gave Kevin enough credit. I think if you came within our organization, Kevin was given all the credit. But the reality is, is I don't think that team wins another championship if Kevin doesn't come. Now, you may say, oh, yeah, but y'all won the fourth one without Kevin. But there's a gap in there where teams started to figure us out. And would you would you guys have beat Houston yeah. those, those two years without Kevin? Yeah, we was beating them for sure. <laughs> so, kidding me. That team was never going to beat us. <laughs> it just was not going to happen. What about we the, what about the, what about the Cavs time? then? We would not have beat the Cavs coming back around without Kevin. I, see, I just, I well, again, I'm not outraged. I just, I kind of disagree. I think that disrespectful. The 2018 Rockets were a very well assembled team, and they were on fire. How many wins they have that year? 63. Yeah, the Warriors weren't trying to win. They had 65 wins. Uh, okay, but that's Bonte. Yeah, they also took him to a game seven. Like that's you know what? with Kevin but, Durant. But, but listen, I don't know. Iguodala doesn't get hurt in game four. That series but he, goes. But five. that's what Iggy does. Like you let's, know what I'm let's saying? Just but no, 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 no. That's what no, older no, no, Iggy no. does. He didn't get hurt. He got hurt in game four. He got hurt in and that changed the series. He got hurt that in 2018. Like, and that changed the series. He got hurt, and it would have been a five game series. They would have been done. They would have been done in five without Kevin Durant. Without Kevin Durant, I don't know. Without Kevin Durant, you plug and play somebody. They would have found a small forward. We're doing a lot of ifs, We are, bucks. but those Rocket teams are fraudulent. I can't even keep up I, with I, Look, what, I, there's one thing so I— So if we don't have Durant, I, listen, if he stays healthy, yeah, if this, then that's what I we're doing. guarantee Dray, this. Draymond's doing that. No, Draymond's I know he is. talking about it. He's and I'm not, it. I'm not ripping you. No, no, no. I'm I know just... you're not ripping me, but I'm ripping the Rockets saying they were front runners. They were a joke. I give them a little and more respect in 2018. And you know what? And, and who says this? Thank the heavens that the Rockets didn't win a championship. You imagine what the game would have looked like now? People copycatting that style of play? Thank the heavens the Rockets didn't win it. They would have torn. That would have ruined basketball. That would have ruined basketball. Let's go to A Train in San Jose. A Train, what's happening? You're on the morning roster here on 95 7 the game. Hey, guys. Good morning. I just wanted to say thank you for a uh, great radio, great show. Um, I, my family and I were uh, lead, heading out of town, and it's uh, bittersweet. We're moving to Colorado. Oh my oh, gosh! No, I'm sorry. Why are you moving to Colorado? Or, or happy for you, Did, depending on the point of view. Colorado Springs, Denver. You know, where are you moving to? We're moving actually to uh, Castle Rock. It's kind of right in the middle of uh, Colorado Springs and Denver, so a good good distance in between both, and out in the middle of kind of nowhere, and got some space for the kids to run around and. Um, and set us up, you know, for our future. So it's uh, good for you. It's, it's for yeah, good for uh, good for job, good for family. Good for you. But yeah, I'm gonna miss you guys and listen to the whole, you know, all the different shows, well, Damon and Bruce, the Odyssey and app, and all those guys. Hey, A Trade, you got to download the Odyssey app. Oh. The Odyssey app or is YouTube. your friend. I will absolutely. That's gonna be my morning listening to uh, oh, yeah. on the way to work, and then I, nice. I can tell the people that I work with about how bad the Nuggets are compared to the Warriors. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Have fun at Ball Arena watching the Warriors over there at Denver A-Train. We're going to miss you. Safe travels to Colorado. Safe travels to you. Let's go to our man Armando. Armando in Fairfield. What's happening, Mondo? What's up, Mondo? Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, uh, I just want to, I don't know what the outrage is about this Draymond Green thing. <laughs> I agree with Jaffe. I mean, I just think he's trying to give it, I just try to think, I just think he's trying to give credit, uh, credit to Durant, I mean, I mean, try to give him credit. I think where he messed up is that where he said Steph Curry couldn't get his bucket. I mean, Curry could get his bucket even when he was at Davidson. <laughs> I just think he's just the most polished scorer. Now, I just think that if, if he would have just said that they would triple team on, quadruple team on, whatever, and we just need another score, I think it would have been better. But, I mean, I'm a Curry fan. I'm a Warrior fan. I, I don't see the outrage for this, man, you know. Yeah. It would just probably be more fuel for Curry to go get another one. That's what I think. You know what it is? I feel like we're in the rash era. Do you know what I mean by that, B? I don't. Everything's sensitive. Oh, 
Oh, I'm triggered. Kevin Durant's awesome. What? You don't think Steph Curry's good? Steph Curry's amazing. Yeah. You don't think Kevin Durant carried hey, him? No, I say, I will say. Michael Jordan's my number uh, one player of all time. You don't think LeBron is incredible? Well, I will say this about uh, Kevin Durant. It does bother me that Warrior, there's a segment of Warrior fans who don't give him credit. That does bother me because I remember what it felt like July 4th, 2016. <laughs> He's great, when the, the, when the, when the timeline ever. when Sham yes. Serrano tweeted out, Kevin Durant will be playing basketball for the Golden State Warriors. I remember my instant reaction. I said, I can't believe this guy's coming to you the Bay Area. turned it into GIF form. Dude, oh, dude. Is it GIF or GIF? GIF? I, I mean... GIF. GIF. There it is. Don't GIF. listen to anyone if they say it's GIF. Yeah, no matter GIF. any reason that they gave you. GIF is a peanut butter. But <laughs> Thank you, Patrick Baldwin. Uh, PBJ. Uh, by the way, PBJ, <laughs> California Classic coming up. Seth Cooper, 730. He's coaching that California Classic team. Don't forget, God, you can get you tickets are. at warriors.com. Warriors.com. What? You um, don't think Joe's polished? No, it's, nobody saying that. I don't even know what that <laughs> Voice is. is that a broadcasting voice? No, or that's the I'm triggered on the internet voice. I'm well, so sick. Everybody is triggered by everything. Well, good good luck trying to fight that good fight with the internet because the internet's going to do what the internet does, which is be outraged by things. But Get here's, a hobby, here's my people. here's my issue though, is that the Kevin Durant slander or the you know all the noise towards uh -huh. Kevin Durant, even to this day, we're going to be talking about Kevin Durant for the rest of our lives, and he only played three seasons here, and it was a big time three seasons. The feeling you had July 4th, 2016. I remember my feeling. I'm on the phone. I'm laughing. I'm jacked up. I'm like, I can't believe we got the guy who used to watch yes. at the University of Texas cook people well, as a freshman. For like 14 games. Yeah, he played the entire <laughs> season. He played, he played like 30. But I'm no, teasing. seriously, that was the guy I wanted. I was yeah. like, geez, this guy's incredible. Yeah. And the Warriors have him. And then you win those two championships. And you see some of the greatest basketball played. Played. Ever in NBA history in 2017, and yet there's still a segment of Warrior fans who don't want to show love to Kevin Durant because he left. I already knew it wasn't a long term marriage. If he gets us three, four years, great. Got two championships out of it, three finals appearances, some of the best basketball we'll ever, we'll ever see in our lives. Think of all the different sports that have these these guys that become sports heroes that win championships, like Cody Ross. The Giants don't win it all without Cody right. Ross. Kevin Durant, was, I mean, Cody Ross was awesome in a couple of games, right? right? They gave him a contract, didn't really work out. Nowhere was he more impactful than Kevin Durant. And yet we, we think highly, and well, not all of us, but some people think highly of, of, of Cody Ross over Kevin Durant. It's like, are you right. kidding me? Kevin Durant is, okay, if he ain't the third or fourth best warrior of all time, he's probably somewhere in that top five mm -hmm. for most people. He's awesome, and what he did was incredible. They almost went undefeated in the playoffs. He right. won two NBA Finals MVPs. I don't see why I need to defend him every freaking week to yeah. Warrior fans. Yeah, it's it's wild here. As you are listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ FM and HD1 San Francisco at Odyssey Station. Download the Odyssey app in favor of 95.7 The Game for the best and most up-to-date Warriors, Niners, and Giants coverage here at 95.7 The Game. Anybody outraged by what Draymond Green had to say? Again, if you're just joining the show here at the 7 o'clock hour, Draymond Green joined the Old Man and Three podcast in New York City for a live stream podcast with J.J. Redick and Tommy Alter. Really good podcast. They collabed on both their podcasts, and they were discussing everything from the NBA Finals to life without KD. And then here's where Draymond Green talked about Dr Steph Curry getting – Crushed by the media, and also, you know, learning how to get buckets and learning how to how to score without Kevin Durant. First, I'm gonna play the one where Jeremiah Green is talking about Steph Curry getting crushed by the media. I felt that for Steph, he's been ridiculed, and you're talking to a guy who who does nothing wrong. Like if you say, "Yo, show me the model citizen," I can show you Steph Curry and show you the model citizen, like that just doesn't do much wrong at all. And he's been ridiculed, talking about his legacy, he has no finals MVPs, blah, blah, blah. As much as you don't show you feel that, you feel it. And I know he felt it. Here's another thing, before I go on. I think the ultimate sign of respect that you can show someone is to invite them into your home. Like that's the ultimate respect you can give me is to open the door to your home for me. And Steph, I felt like opened the door to his home for Kevin. Now, that is true. He did open his home to Kevin Durant. How many stars would do that? And he took took a back seat to Kevin Durant to help him fit in and it worked out well. And won two championships in three seasons. Would have three peated. 
What a three-peat had KD or Clay been healthy in those NBA finals and we'd be discussing something else. But our boy Tyler Miller, this is what I'm talking about. No respect for Kevin Durant. We got Dreamer saying, I got more respect for Sean Livingston than Kevin Durant. It's like, why do we have to disrespect Kevin Durant? He chose to come to the Golden State Warriors, which put this organization in an entirely different stratosphere. Once the Warriors got Kevin Durant, the Warriors joined the class of the Celtics. They joined the class of the L.A. Lakers and all the top dogs in the NBA as a destination for players, for top players. Kevin Durant changed the landscape. Changed the landscape in the NBA, well, but also put the Warriors in a different stratosphere, having having him uh, join up with Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and Draymond Green. I think that's lost on a lot of people. You're preaching to the choir. Like I, you and I are in synchronicity. Like we we completely agree. I just we won the championship. Oh, we two days a, ago, we just had a parade down Market Street. Why? Are we getting triggered by anything? You got the last laugh, Warrior fans. Let Draymond say whatever Draymond says. Don't try to take anything as a slight to any of the current players. Be happy and grateful that we got what we wanted, a championship, you know, post Kevin Durant right. or whatever, and Steph finally got his finals MVP. You got the now and you got the future. So. You got all these great players that we get to see this weekend. I just, I have so much positive thoughts. I don't have any room for negativity. So, so here. And I'm not saying you do, B. I'm no, just no, saying, I know like, you're not talking about I, for the it's, majority of Warrior fans, take a day off on the internet. Well, no, that's not happening, number one. Maybe Dre needs uh, to take a day off. Well, I don't know. Well, so wait. You know what? <clears throat> Here's a couple things that I think we haven't gotten to on a podcast that I think is very, that? very, that, that stuck out to me. And nothing, again, nothing on this podcast, I, I'm not outraged about anything. I'm, I'm like, whatever. But if you're the new media and you want to analyze a game, why are we going back and analyzing games from five years ago? <laughs> We're talking about a situation from five years ago. Uh, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Like That's old media stuff. Quote, unquote, old media stuff where we're going back in time and we're having revisionist history. But Draymond Green mentioned later on in the podcast that the Warriors were going to win three of the next four NBA championships. What? Wait, say that again? Draymond Green on the same podcast mentioned how the Warriors are going to win three of the next four championships. Right now, he said that for He said this on this forward. podcast, moving oh. forward, they're going to win three of the next four. And that was my big, biggest takeaway wow. to the podcast. I was like, oh, Trayvon's predicted three of the next four, which puts the Warriors to seven championships. Three of the next four. That is, <laughs> like, where do you even, how, how does he do the math there? I'm just curious. Said they're going to win three. Do we have that four. cut? I would uh, love to hear we, it. We'll get that cut in okay, a second. Okay, sorry, because my it, bad. JJ Reddick was talking about who's a threat to you guys We're in the get West. Three of the next four. So he said because you know so, what my joke is on my basketball team and on my softball team. I got that? this buddy Chris Granger, good ball player. I call him Pat Bev, right? Because he plays like tenacious defense. Right. And every time we call a timeout or something, or there's a stoppage in play, or, or in softball comes out, I go. The next five years are ours. What? The next five years are ours. Because it's the baby. Pat Bev line. Yeah, so now Pat it's Draymond. Bev. We're getting the next three out of the next so, four. I'm going to use that tonight. Well, Chris, if went, you're out there, the next went, five years are ours. They went three of the next four. And that's seven championships. <laughs> that's seven championships. Here's, what, here's the cut with Draymond Green. Now, this is where I'm here for. <laughs> And 2019 was when Steph really locked in on the weight room. And so that's where he kind of starts taking that bump and, 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 and kind of bumping it up a little bit. And although it didn't show immediately because then 2020 we were terrible and he broke his hand, you started to see in 2021 we were still terrible, but Steph was carrying us and he carried us to a play-in game and we didn't get past it. It was probably great because we would have got swept and that would have been the first series we ever got swept. So thank God we didn't make it. But um, I think you started to see it then, that growth, and like, oh man, nobody can stop this dude now. And I think that really changed the complexity of our organization. And I'm pretty certain that's why we'll win three of the next four NBA championships. I'm pretty certain that that's why we'll win three of the next four NBA championships. If they won three more after this one, so that would give them seven. That would give them seven. To me, the greatest modern dynasty is the when New England Patriots. Six, right? I'm talking about in any sport, any sport right, right now, right? Right. right? That's the, the, the greatest modern dynasty. They would have seven? Seven. Seven, Seven in a shorter period of time? Seven. Seven. I just want to let so that So what is it right there. now? It's that, that to me it's, is more exciting. Right now it's four and eight. Number seven. Mm. So that would be... Seven in, come on, do the math. Seven and ten? Eleven. 
Seven and eleven. Oh yeah, seven. No, 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 no. He said three to the next four. Yeah, so three to the next four. Seven out of seven out of twelve. Oh, is that what? He, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, dude, you do the math. Yeah. Seven out of twelve. Seven eleven sounded good. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to just throw that in yeah, there. I, know. I, was like, I drive by one every day. <laughs> seven of the next twelve championships. That's a big deal. That's what, what my biggest take. I was like, "Damn, Draymond!" And he was talking about threats. He said the Clippers and he said the Clippers were going to be a threat and a problem. Again, are they getting LeBron? And the, the Mavericks, they'll be a threat, well, but they're not a I problem agree. yet. Well, uh, I, I like the Christian Wood acquisition for them. He said the Memphis Grizzlies could be a threat, but they're so oblivious to the moment that we got to see. Now they're talking. Now we got to see. So let's go to KJ in Springfield, Illinois. KJ, what's happening? You're on the board here on Sierra ninety five seven the game. Hey, how you doing? Good morning, guys. Good morning, guys. Good morning. What up? Hey, I wanted to talk about, you know what I mean, what Draymond said. I don't know if he meant like three of the next four or if he was including this one when he was saying three of the next four, but I think they have a, a real, real possibility of doing it. When I was uh, when Draymond said that Steph became a, a better scorer, you guys remember when John Wall went out and, and, and Bradley Bill became a the, the best scorer in the league, basically? That's basically what Steph became last year when they went out of the playoffs, when they were uh, right. they was in the playoff uh, playing game. And now that they have the the rookie Kaminga, which I think next year he's going to take a big leap. I think he's going to be better than Andrew Wiggins. Honestly, if you see how he plays his drive, he has better defense than Andrew Wiggins. Now he's just very raw. Then they have uh, Jonathan Kaminga. I mean, not Jonathan. I mean, James Wise in the center, seven two, year three, put on fifteen pounds of muscle. And year three of your most big, great centers, you know what I mean, like good pos- good prospects, they're usually, you know what I mean, 19 and, and like 19 and like eight. And if he gets that for the Warriors, they're literally unstoppable with a 7 <laughs> 2 uh, presence in the, in, the, uh, in the paint. You got Steph Curry, yep. you got Clay Thompson, Wiggins, Kaminga, and then not talking about Jordan Poole coming off the bench, he's basically Tyler Hero. Like, What's He's literally- better than Tyler He's Hero. Better than Tyler, Tyler yeah. Hero. It, it, Tyler Hero I'm, got baby mama problems. I'm just saying, like you know, what I mean, he was just one. Tyler Hero just one six man of the year. No, no I, I know. Yeah, but he, he's a one sided player. Hero. Yeah, he, you know, I think Jordan's I think more could comprehensive, be better, and I think Poole could be yeah. better, and he sets up better for his teammates. I don't think Tyler Hero's the playmaker that Jordan Poole is. Mm. By the way, thanks for calling from Springfield, Illinois. KJ, he was on a roll Springfield, there. Springfield, Illinois. He, he's Springfield, Illinois. Say hi to Homer. <laughs> yeah, and Bart and Marge and Lisa and. Maggie and all the, the, the entire crew. Eight. You know, if Hi, wi- everybody. <laughs> if Wiseman and Kaminga, just those two, were in this year's draft, is there any doubt that they'd be two of the top six picks? No doubt. No doubt. No. And I'm just throwing that Hold number on. six out the there. The three of the next four championships. Is amazing. It reminds me of E40 going out to Jacoby and Jones podcast. Oh. And Jalen Rose goes, this is like a few years ago. This is uh-huh. 2017, 18. Yeah. Like, so how many championships do you think the Warriors going to run off here? If Fody sits there, he goes, you know, I think they could win 10 in a row. <laughs> <laughs> and Jalen said, come on, Fody Water. I love you. 10 in a row goes, yeah, 10 in a row. I think they could win 10 in a row. <laughs> hey, one, of, one of my uncles, we were talking about E40. He's like, he's at everything. Is he just now the sports mascot for every team? Did, by the way, did and he join like, you guys? And I was like, hell yeah, he is. Did he join you guys last Friday? Who, 40 Water? Yeah. No, he ghosted us because oh, you weren't here. <laughs> I tell love it. Uh, what's coming up to you? It's coming up with a game brought to Rappers you by Twin up. USA. Twin USA. We're going to take more of your phone calls. Tamir, Damian, Larry, Coach. we got you coming up on the other side. Plus, Seth Cooper, who's coaching the California Classic for the Golden State Warriors. We'll talk to him at 730 and get some insight on whether or not Wiseman will play this weekend at Chase Center. Don't forget, tickets at warriors.com. Go to warriors.com and more of your phone calls coming up on, border, on the border road.